All right, so to start off, I laid down my brows by using prosade cream and a metal spatula. I went over with a few coats and then just pressed down the hairs and powdered them. With a clown white cream from Graftobian, I just used a sponge and thickly applied that to the areas of my face I wanted stark white, mainly just focusing on the forehead, cheeks, and jawline. And be sure to make all around the nose as white as possible to give the illusion of a flatter surface. To set the cream, I just went all over my face with a translucent setting powder, and then I took a black cream liner to start shaping out the eye area. A really creamy consistency will help as it will blend and smudge a lot easier, but you don't have to worry about being neat as this look is more splotchy anyways. With the black cream acting as a base, I then followed with a black eyeshadow and a small domed brush. I applied the black in more of a padding motion because I didn't want the blends to be neat. I wanted to create a bit of texture and unevenness to the skin. Then, taking a red eyeshadow, I focused it more on the outer areas of the eyes and underneath, and then along the outside of the face as well, keeping with that chaotic application style to give it more interest. I quickly lined out where I was placing the mouth with a black pencil, and then taking a white hydrocolor, I started placing the teeth down where I thought they would work. Don't worry too much about shape and color payoff at this first point, because it just helps to get an idea of size and placement to do it lightly at first. Then if you're happy with the look, go back in and better define the color and alignment of the teeth. To create the gums in the mouth, I used a bright red hydrocolor and created half moons around each tooth and then just connected them. And for this I stayed away from pinks and softer gum colors because I wanted to stick with the strong color contrast between the red, white, and black. <laughs> For the black part of the mouth, I started with the black hydrocolor and a thicker paintbrush to line around the outside and then in between the teeth. I also blended this slightly in at the corners but didn't pull too far as I will blend it out more with shadow in a little bit. When darkening the area between the two rows of teeth, I used the black to help clean up the edges of each tooth, and then I kept the teeth blunt in shape by rounding the edges so they didn't have any sharp corners. For defining in between each tooth, I actually switched to a much finer detail brush that gave me better control, allowed me to build up the spacing if I wanted to, and made it easier to simply flick up or downwards to create the depth I was after. Jumping back to the red eyeshadow I used earlier, I applied it around the edges of the mouth in the same splotchy manner to help define the shape and carry the texture down from the eyes. I also carried the colors around the mouth over my nose to help give the illusion of a flatter surface. <laughs> to 
to fade in the black on the inside of the mouth, I started with the same black cream I used on my eyes and then just blended that on its own. Following that, I went in with a black eyeshadow and blended further to help create a really soft gradient over the gums and teeth. I also blended the black shadow a lot more on the outside teeth to create the illusion of greater depth. I threw in a little bit of red shadow as well along the gum line to make it look more irritated and then also used a yellow orange color slightly on the teeth to make them look a little more grungy. After a few last minute touch ups on the defining of the teeth, I then repeated the coloring around the outside of the mouth with a black shadow. I also carried that shadow a little bit more around the entire face for just a more unified texture. At this point, I felt it was good to throw in a pair of white Manson contacts and put on a short black wig to help with the look. Then a step that certainly isn't necessary but is rather fun is to take some thick scab fake blood and apply that around the mouth with either a stipple sponge or just a ripped up regular sponge. <laughs> My very last step was to black out my neck and ears to better give the idea of just a looming face in the darkness. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs>